<laughs> Ooh, how are y'all doing? Oh, I, I tell you, if I ever run out of shelf space, I can build a new wall real quick. No, it never, never stops being fun. I enjoy winning awards. I thoroughly enjoy coming to the award shows and getting to see all the entertainers and the other people out in the audience. Um, I'm sitting right behind uh, Carol O'Connor, Walter Matthau. Oh, just to watch. I don't get, I get, don't get to meet them, but I get to watch them. I think I'd be embarrassed to walk up and say, "Hi, I'm Reba McIntyre," and they'd go like, "Yeah, okay, right." But um, Gene Hackman, love to meet Gene Hackman. How many is this now? All down between country and pop and all the different categories of music. Is that watering down? I don't think it's watering down. I think music is music. There's only two kinds to me, and that's good and bad. I like it when they group it together. A lot better than having the distinct categories. I really do. How many People's Choice Awards is this now? Four, I think. Yes. Four. <laughs> What's coming up for you now? Well, I've got a small part in the North movie. It's the Rob Reiner movie called North. And then I'm doing a movie for television in May called Is There Life Out There? I've got a brand new album called Read My Mind. An autobiography out in April, also the same as the book, as the album. It's called Reba My Story. I'm going to do a little book tour and an album tour on that. And while I'm doing about 127 dates this year, how would I like my story to help people? Well, hopefully they learn from my mistakes. I did certainly. Uh, I don't regret anything I've done uh, and the mistakes that I've made. Um, I just hopefully don't ever make them again. And I hope that from the book they are entertained and they learn a little bit more about me and like me for my shortcomings anyway. Forgive me for them. What is the TV movie? Is there life out there? Uh, the, the single that I had out a couple of years ago was called Is There Life Out There? And there were so many women that responded to that video and the single by going back to college. Going, and, the, and high school girls that had dropped out of, of high school, uh, they would come back to school and get their diploma or their GED. And women of all ages were going back and get their college degree. So we decided to do a movie about this same subject. So you'll be playing a woman who's a housewife who goes back to school? A housewife with two children, um, eight, ten years old, both of them, and a husband who is a carpenter and very supportive of me going back and fulfilling my dreams. Reba? Yes? Do you enjoy doing music videos, or sometimes is it hard for you to visually express what you're singing? No, I love doing music videos. They're a lot of hard work, and they're very hard to do. They take three or four days. And it's strenuous work, a lot like movie work. But I think they're very rewarding, and they give more to the song than just hearing it, you know, uh, like on the radio or with your tape player or whatever. I think it adds an awful lot to the song. Miss McIntyre? I just can say, have you ever seen interpretations of, of your song that a director has, has come up with that you, maybe you wouldn't agree with? Oh, sure. Different than what you thought? Sure. Yeah, but uh, mine is pretty much right to the words of the song. Mine's pretty obvious, so I usually go with theirs. Ms. McIntyre, yes. you play in this uh, TV movie, you play a woman who's going back for her dream. Anything in your life now that could compare to that? Well, my dream was always music, because I tried basketball, rodeo, and hauling hay, everything in the world. I never was very good at it, and I always fell back on my music, which is the one thing that I should have been aspiring to do instead of falling back on it. But Daddy would always say, Reba, quit trying to do the things you can't do and go for the things that you can. And so that was the best advice I got as I was growing up. Do you have any dreams that are unattained now? I'm sorry? Do you have any dreams that are not yet achieved now? Oh, certainly. I have tons of dreams that I haven't fulfilled that I'm looking forward to doing. A lot of it is in the acting field. Um, but my, my main dream that I'm staying with is to be healthy and happy. And now I'll be happy with that. Can I yes. you were involved with uh, Guns for Tickets. Uh-huh. In a real, are you still involved? And can you tell us a personal story where you thought you understood what a difference you made in that direction? The guns, trading guns in for a seat at a Reba McIntyre concert started when I saw the Dallas Cowboys doing it. Now, if you've ever been to a 12-year-old boy's funeral because of a gun accident, this really hits home, and I did. I, I, went to the, I knew the family, and I knew the young man. So this is something that really hit home for me. If we could get... I don't think we're going to stop the crime in the world. What I'm trying to do is get the um, maybe the forgotten guns, the handguns or the rifles out of the house that 
maybe you don't use except for hunting season one time a year or for protection. But if you have forgotten where you've put them under the bed or in the drawer, and if they are loaded, this is an educational thing. It's an awareness thing. It, either get them out of the house or put them up, lock them up, and for God's sake, unload them if a kid can get to them. And you're going to keep that up? Yes. As long as the police department in the city we're going to and touring in will participate with us. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you all very much. Thank you.